Hi YouTube peoples. Um, so I wanted to do another quick video. This isn't uh, specifically about um, what I'm working on right now, but I just wanted to talk in general about my editing process and going through the first edit once you have completed the first draft. Now I do a lot of editing as I am writing. Um, I will kind of go back and review things or especially like if I'm looking at the last few chapters that I wrote to start writing some fresh chapters, then I'll kind of go back and as I'm going back through, I'll edit. Also, I'll edit when I don't have inspiration um, and I'm trying to get like back into the story, get, get fresh vibes around it. So then I'll also go back and kind of skim read or like read my favorite parts that I've written to just kind of get my creative vibes going again. So the one of the first things that I noticed about editing um, when I started editing initially, I would do just line edits, um, and that was sucky. Also, there's no point in doing line edits that early because you're just going to go back and start fixing plot holes and shifting things around and maybe have to remove characters, add new characters, tweak things. Who knows? You might be smushing, smushing like a bunch of different characters into one person, so you may be like removing a bunch of characters and adding in one. Who knows? I don't know how you write your story. It's is totally cool however it works but if you've done all these line edits then they become basically obsolete because you've now changed so much of the story so the first thing that I did when I was going through my book um, and I actually have my one of my notebooks here um, and I will show you what I did so I went through each chapter and as I read the chapter I wrote down things that I wanted to confirm so um, for chapter, and I did this actually um, by the chapter. Okay, so it started with chapter five. And you can see that uh, backwards, whatever. So there, like that. So I wrote chapter five, and then I had any things that I wanted to look at for the chapter. So for, fa for, for, factor. for chapter five, I noticed that like I had written something about a fan, the use of a fan, and I wanted to go back and just kind of make sure um, there's a character who's using a fan and I wanted to make sure that her and it, like what what she was the, the scenario that she was in at the time I wanted to make sure that she was using the fan correctly because there was an entire language for the use of fans like um, I'm just spitballing here and I don't remember exactly all the details but like if you were fanning yourself quickly it might mean that you're single and that you're okay with someone coming up to talk to you whereas if you like open and close your fan really quick, it might mean, hey, I don't want to talk to you at all. So I wanted to make sure that that was cohesive with what her actual mood was in the story. Um, then um, I'd written something about an outfit for a man in chapter seven. So that was one thing that I went back and I was like, okay, I need to go back and do more research on this. Because when you're writing, like for me, if I start researching while I'm writing, it totally messes up my jam. Like I'll stop writing, I'll get so distracted, I'll just be doing a, a big think and I'll get super into that. So I try to separate all that out. And, and if it's like, okay, this is how I see him in my head right now, totally cool, write it all out, then go back later. And so that was my note was to check the time period. The other reason that I wanted to check the time period for his clothes is because there's a few other things in the story that are very specific like um, electricity, the having or not having of it, running water, the having or not having of it. So I, I wanted to go back and make sure that whatever I'm writing, what he's wearing, the time period where uh, before electricity is available, as well as like some carriage technology, I'm making sure that's all happening in, a, in the same time period. That way I can narrow down also when the story is occurring or if I've written the story to occur in a different time period, I can go back and kind of tweak that and say, okay, no, I need to move this up by five to 10 years or back by this amount of time. That's if you want it to be historically accurate. Of course, if you're writing things from an alternate universe, that doesn't necessarily matter, but this is real, real world technology and scenarios and I want them all to line up. So for each chapter, I'll go through and I'll make notes about how many different things I want to review for that chapter. And so basically I'm just making sure, like some of the kinds of things that I'll add in my notes, um, okay, in chapter one, this character has blue eyes and in chapter 10, they have brown eyes. What's happening there? Those kinds of things. So 
I will make notes about that or like I had a character who was there was a wild difference in their ages which did not was not cohesive with the timeline so I wanted to make sure that I updated that so those are all the kind of notes that I put into um into my um basically my review of the book as a whole and that's my first set of edits. So I go through those edits and then I'm going, going to basically check. All right, so I'm fact checking myself. I'm making sure that the, the timelines line up, all that kind of stuff. So once that's done, that's like my first edit. And that's so I've I completed that process. Now I have everything with my beta readers. So this is going to be a bit more about the flow of the story, not just how it feels to me, but how it feels to other people and what questions they have that I didn't answer. Was it intentional that I didn't answer it or did I not answer it inadvertently? And if I'm comfortable with leaving it how it is or if I actually want to fix that. So that's that's kind of the difference between um, like separating line editing, which is what I was doing before, to actually going back and making sure that the story is structurally sound. So I just wanted to share a little bit about my editing process, my initial editing process, and then as I go on, I will stack on that and let you know what I'm doing, how it's working, and if the editors hate me in the end. Thanks so much for watching my video, guys. Thank you to my Patreons. You guys are the jam, and I will see you next time for another update.